<clears throat> so, so all black people commit crimes? Yes, almost. Okay, so you said 12% of the population that are black commit 50% of the time. So how many black people out of that 12% commit crimes? Come on, Ricky! You said yes, almost. So, I mean, I would think you would have that number. About 99% probably. No, no, no. No, Ricky, you can't say probably. You gave numbers early. So what's the actual percentage? I know you got a computer at home. Come on, buddy. You got to do better than that. <laughs> 99%. Now, that was a goofball answer. Now, if we're going to have an intellectual conversation, let's have a real conversation. How many black men are in jail? out of the entire black population. Come on, Ricky. You can't say 99% now. That's just goofball. Because not even 99% of the population is in jail. Not even 80%. Not even 70 So, I mean, come on now. Just the waiting. Almost all of them. No, I need a specific number, Ricky. Come on, man. If you're gonna get in here, I can't I can't argue with goofballs now. Come on now. Mm-hmm. 43%. I'll say so this goofball said 43%. Now 99% and 43%. That's a pretty big gap. So 43% of black men are in jail. Hey guys, he said 43% is close to uh, 99%. So the percent of black Americans in the general U.S., 13% of black people who are in jail, who are black, just black, 38%. No, I do not smoke marijuana. Uh, smoke CBD. Get your head together, brother. Um, this is 38%. That's 38% of all blacks. That's not even black men. So if I break that down into just black men, you think that number's going to get higher or lower? You know, this is what's always so funny about goofballs, man. Well, it's going to get higher because vlog vloggers commit a lot of crime. You see, this is this is how you know people sometimes, and this is no knock on you, Ricky, but this is how some people just <coughs> absolutely lack education, right? They have no education. So he comes in here and says, almost all black men are in jail. That goes from 93% to 43%. You look up the actual numbers, it's 38%, and he still gets it wrong. Uh, you know I work with special ed people, right? I've worked for people, <clears throat> work for kids, men, women. I've worked with people who have autism since the day I was 13 years old. I've been working with people who have autism for 18 years. Do not you dare get on here and disrespect people with autism and then say that people with autism would come in here and say something blankly stupid. That's a disrespect to people with autism. You see what I'm saying, people? When people don't have anything to go to, they run to something goofball. I know plenty of people who are autistic. I've worked with them for 18 years. Don't give me some goofball answer. See, that's the difference between me and you. See, I, I work in this field. I do have an education. Thank God for that. Raised by a good family. So uh, you might want to try that with someone else. Goofball. And you know what? I was going to have a chat with you, but you're going to come in here and disrespect people with autism. You're going to come in here and say something against black people, which is fine if you have the stats right. Because I'm a man who's not afraid to talk about black people, good and bad. But you're not going to come in here and disrespect people with autism. You think people with autism would say something blankly stupid like that you just did, which is dumb. You're a disrespectful person and you disgust me. You absolutely disgust me. Okay. I don't care. 
That has nothing to do with what you said. It has nothing to do with what you said. You know what? You're out of here, dude. I, I don't take the disrespect for people who are like you. I don't. You're, you're a chump. End of the day, chump. Now you think about what you said. Now you don't get no one more chance. You think this is a game? I don't do this game stuff. Come back in a week. You're, you're banned for a week. Goodbye. <laughs> don't ever come in my chat and disrespect some people who deal with autism. Because it's in the, just to say something blankly stupid. Okay? It's, it's dumb. Goofball. Well, he's gone. Just wanted y'all to see YouTube. Uh, by kind of how I do some kind of stuff over here. You know what I mean? People, here's the thing I want to tell you before I leave. <clears throat> well, I'm not leaving the live stream, but I'm going to leave this YouTube video here in a second. Uh, listen, if you ever want to become a streamer, and I'm not a big streamer, as you can see, I'm a nobody. Okay? I think my rank is somewhere about... 20,000 so but I have been on YouTube for a while and trolls are a part of it but here's one thing I want to say guys the internet's not real okay some people are really doing real stuff out here but out here on the real streets people aren't like this they're not going to walk up to you and ask stupid questions like that they're not going to be in your face calling you fat this black blah 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 you know, let's get to it. Nigger, cracker, white boy, wet back, chink, all this racist stuff that people always want to throw at you. At any race you are, whether you're Asian, black, Hispanic, Irish, Scottish, Australian, whatever you want to be. White people get it too. I ain't stupid. I know white people who went to all black schools and it was absolutely disgusting what they did to them. People can be mean. But here's one thing I want to say know that most people aren't that hateful. They just aren't. So when you get somebody in your live stream that's disrespectful, just ban them. Ban them. Or put them in time out. Maybe they'll learn the lesson. But you don't have to take that. The vast majority of people who follow you aren't like those people. So don't think that you're being too mean or too harsh. If it's messing with you and you feel like it was a disrespectful act, at the end of the day, you're using somebody else's platform. I'm using Kick and YouTube. I don't own these platforms, but I do own the right to not be, have somebody else be bullied, like autistic people, or have myself be bullied, or have somebody who wants to harass me. You don't have to deal with that. I don't have to deal with that. Stand up for yourself, okay? Like I said, people aren't really like this on the streets. Some people are hateful like this in real life, but... I don't deal with a lot of them. And I want to say this <clears throat> last thing. I'm a black man. Okay. I went to, I grew up in an all white town. One thing I will never do over here is claim that somebody's being racist. Okay. Unless I truly believe that, but I, I truly believe in America where I can live in a beautiful home with my beautiful wife and my beautiful son who is no longer with us. When I can do these things as a black man and make good money and drive my good car and go to a great place and buy whatever I can afford and get whatever job I want. I've been, I've been a supervisor three times in my life at a white company, at a black company. I'm living good, dog. I don't think this country's racist and I don't care what y'all think about it been black my whole life and I've lived a good life look how fat I am I've been eating good brother come on now <laughs> I've been eating good brother I need to lose this weight though and I have been losing weight hey lost 100 pounds we got 100 pounds to go but my point is you want something that's where you got to take it don't make excuses